We'll assume John is a young person who inherits $150,000 and decides to spend the entire amount on a brand new luxury car. As we all know, a new car loses value the minute you leave the dealership with it, and the depreciation process never ends. John probably lost $20,000 as soon as he drove away with his new car. He eventually gets married and wants his own home, so he sells his now used car for $50,000 and uses that amount as a mortgage down payment. Did he lose $100,000? No, he lost considerably more because he lost the opportunity to put the initial $150,000 to better use. Perhaps the amount would have been enough to buy him a house. He could have stopped paying rent each month and the house could have gone up in value. Maybe he should have invested in his education so as to get a better job. Or why not, he could have started a business. These are just a few examples which make it clear that he didn't just lose $100,000. He also lost the opportunity to put the entire $150,000 amount to better use. And that's what the opportunity cost is all about. Since every resource such as money or time can be put to all sorts of uses, each and every decision you make has an opportunity cost. When buying a home cinema, car, or anything else, think about the opportunity cost as well, rather than just the price. Do the same when investing your money in assets such as stocks, when investing your time, and so on.